Straw Hut Media. Hey guys, we're <laughs> back. It's your favorite bitches from Heartbreakers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Are you excited that it's actually getting to be summer a little bit more now? Yes. We only have spring and summer here. I know that we all freak all right. out when it yeah. gets like 55 <laughs> degrees. It's sometimes like it won't even get 55, but we are so lucky. Like we're, I know, and we're you know about what? creeping up on some summer weather. So I laid out last weekend and I thought I knew it was going to take a while to try and get a tan, but I'm like, okay, the UV index, because I'm like a tan junkie, it goes from low to high or extreme. And it was on moderate, which is a five. So I was like, okay, that's enough. So I laid out for two and a half hours. Wow. And I know because I'm like, this is not going to, I'm obsessed with tanning. Like I need to be burnt. Yeah. Anyway. And then I'm like, wow, that did nothing. I was walking around the street going, oh, I just laid out for two and a half hours. Got no sun. Cut to hours later. I was roasted. Yeah. You need to like, let it like kind of yeah. s- soak in. <laughs> My skin I mean? was probably like, what is this? <laughs> like, I don't know how to process. You're not burnt though. You're just Not like- anymore because it was last oh, weekend, oh, but okay. I was just so happy that I could finally get a tan again. And it's really relaxing to it lay is. in the it's sun. Like it's it's uh, so therapeutic to lay in the sun like that and kind of just like uh, zone out. That's why I love going to beaches and stuff. Like I'll lay there for hours and hours and hours. I so you have a good it. attention span for that kind of thing? Cause Absolutely. Mine's gotten worse over time. So like now laying out for 15 minutes, was, I'm like, oh, this is so boring. Like, cause I can't look at my phone. You don't listen to music? Then I put music on. But that's your time on. to like to yeah. actually get rid of the phone. Yeah. If you're laying there for two hours, you, you know what you should listen to? One of those like motivation motivational things where they're like oh, yeah. and breathe in and yeah. you are the most amazing do you listen person. to them yeah every morning uh, you see, are the most amazing you know i'm all yeah, like yeah, i yeah. need an ego boost every yeah. day <laughs> <laughs> i used to i was telling friends i used to make one of my exes give me 10 compliments each day because i needed it <laughs> I like, you I needed, he would. <laughs> give me the fucking no, compliments he just now knew that he had to like but i do listen to those yeah. things and i like them if you're able to lay down for two hours that's a long time no so then that made me feel so good for the rest of the day because I was like screen time is bad like just for mental health and everything and I know that I say I go through like self-care and then nothing at all and then I get really fucked up and like honestly you've heard me even come in here the last couple of times and be like oh I can't sleep my neck and blah 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 so what I realized I bought all these different kinds of pillows none of them would work then it just cut to me laying in bed at night going "Ah," picking up that pillow putting putting down that pillow and then eventually I was like you know what I'm not connected I'm like not present I'm like reading text messages about work at like literally nine o'clock at night or like doing things that make me obsessed. Yes. And then I'm not. So last night and the night before I thought, okay, well, it's not the pillows. I bought so many of them. (laughs) Um, (laughs) All these different ones, (laughs) even ones that cup your head and hold your head in a skin position. Wow. I know. And then What do you uh, want? One of those, (laughs) those straight jackets next so you can't get up? (laughs) Yes, I do. Because I started, so I was tossing and turning so much that it started to hurt the hair follicles on my body because I was rubbing in what my teeth too What the frick are much. you doing at night that you're rolling around? Like, are so you a gymnast? So, I have gymnast? an obsessive like- personality. So, like, the littlest things can just jump into my head and I obsess over them. And, like, what I realize is, okay, so last night I was, like, white light. I'm, like, the universe is filling me with infinite energy and calming me down. I'm plugging back in. And it was, I know it sounds kind of random, but it really helped. And so, now I just remembered that because I used to take Xanax and stuff like that and that would help. Like, but I can't mm-hmm. take medication anymore. So, anyway, now... I'm all about meditation and just doing check-ins and like having some time without screens and just. Do you listen to brown sound before you go What's to sleep? That? You know, like white noise. No. And why don't you listen to brown noise? And it's like you know, like that sound that like when you're in the airplane, it's just like hmm, like it's just oh, like that yeah. hum and like. I listen to that. Yeah. I put that on my um, my Amazon, whatever yeah. it's called, Alexa, and I just have her play it. I like that kind of stuff to calm yeah. myself down. And You're I do good with that kind of stuff. Well, I have to because I will yeah. be like you, and yeah. then my whole life will crumble yeah. if I don't sleep well. Yeah, I think that's yes. for everybody. It's so important. I know it sounds insane. Although I do love a good sleep conversation because, like, I enjoy hearing if someone's had a good sleep or yeah. if they have, a, like, you know, because it is important. But anyway, now I feel totally normal today and great. Good. How have you been? What's going on? 
just same old, same old. Sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping and... Um, no, oh. I'm just chilling, you know. Have a couple nice. of trips coming up. Ooh. I'm going... I know we were just yeah. talking about it, but we're going to go to Costa Rica. I go to I go to Greece. Yay. Have then. you been to Costa Rica before? No, I haven't been. Oh, okay, yeah. And <gasps> Greece uh, I want to go to. Yeah, and so I, I, me and Holly are in Greece for two weeks. Did you know that? Oh, my God. You're going with her when she yes. leaves in like two weeks? It, oh, my God. Yes. I didn't know you it, were going. Yes, I'm going. Uh. I'm going to be there. I didn't realize because I just went through her travel agent. She's like, just talk to her. And I was yeah. like, okay, book whatever they have because I don't yeah. want to be like. Oh, my God. You're going to be on a cruise, out. aren't you? No, it's oh, not a cruise. Okay, they're, okay. They are, they're island yeah. hopping. Yeah. And what I think I'm going to do is like go to where I can't go anymore and then fly yeah. to Sicily or something like oh, that. Nice. That's right there because yeah. I like to travel alone and I need that. I kind of use her going to Greece as an excuse to get me into like yeah. Europe and stuff yeah. like that. And so yeah. I could fly around I think myself. it's good to do start the trip off with people with you know. People, and then just your leave. Friends, and then be like, okay, like, because in anything, no matter how much you like the person, eventually you're like, two okay, weeks I need is to a go long do... time. Yeah. Oh, so you're going to spend full two weeks with them and then go? No, oh, I yeah, was yeah. going to, I told her, I said, I'm going to schedule myself for the full two weeks. Yeah. But if I wake up one day and I feel like going to Sicily. You know how I am. Yeah. Like, I'll just be like, yeah. whatever, I'm going to head to Sicily I feel like now. people like, should <laughs> allow you to do whatever the fuck you want to do. It's no yeah. personal insult on anyone. Because, like, I'm like you in the fact that like i book things last minute i'll make different decisions on a dime and be like listen honey it's not about you or if you leave a party early or whatever oh, it's no, like honey it's i'm not- just doing what i need to do yeah. like i'm like today i feel like going the fuck away like yeah. and it's not about you i'm just like no. ready to go sit on a rock now by myself yeah it, she knows that too yeah. i told her that i was like i'll definitely mm-hmm. like i want to go i think you you and i are the same in and out that we have a social battery that goes down too so like it's really fun in the moment until it's not and then you're like okay i need to be like yeah. out of here no, no, to recharge I, yeah I I have my social battery is like always yeah. dead. <laughs> like yeah. it feels like it's always dead. That's one thing I can't recharge. Yeah. I love that you're going to Greece though. I feel like that's where gay sex is invented. <laughs> I think you it just really made was. that you made Could that you, up. Um, tell me, Bran, is it gay sex? Was it invented in Greece? Popularized. <laughs> was it? Yeah, because wow. like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to have a great time there. I might go to a couple of shows or something. They have that. Yes. Oh, my God. My ex has a house there. He never uses it. I always thought that maybe I would go there. Although it's a bit weird. You know me and exes. I'm always keeping them as friends and then it gets you, all complicated. You love that. Oh, God. Your go to. Be my friend after I break up with you. Because I need everyone to like me. I don't want to have angry exes out there that are mad at me. Well, they're mad at you. No, oh, yeah, they're, I know. It's they're just like angry and mad at you whether you're tortured. friends with, with them or not. I'm yeah. like, what do you mean? They're all angry. <laughs> they go through stages back and forth. I like to torture myself to the end of time. I always regret it. Every single time mm. I allow an ex to text me or whatever, I'm always like, oh, I've already now read I'm this annoyed. Book. Yeah. Like, now I realize why I don't. You know, I saw mm. a quote where it was like, Stop like being proud that your ex is reaching out to you. They're just checking if you're still stupid. And ever since I saw <laughs> yes. that, I was like, it is so true because they approach so you every single time, the same exact time. Yeah. Hey, can I talk to you? I've been thinking about something. That's what they all uh, say to me. And then they in wheel to see if you're still in. stupid. Then, yes. I love it. It's true. Oh, and I am. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the hot topics. B, oh, I don't know why I keep calling everyone I bitches. Know, you're okay. Oh. <laughs> All right. Don't change the subject, just answer the fucking question. What the fuck is this piece of shit? All right, people are starting to buy houses with their friends instead of partners. Ooh, cool segue. A new study shows that over 21% of Americans are buying houses with their friends as a way to beat the market and avoid renting. However, several people who have purchased a house with their friends found that mixing friendship and money is playing with fire. An anonymous study participant said that he only lasted five years. That's a long time before their friendship came to an end and they sold the house and went on separate ways. Well, people get married for one year, buy a house and sell it a year later. So I don't, I think actually you should be proud for five years. (laughs) Typically someone doesn't live in the same house for more than seven years. Did you know that? They, people typically change their homes every seven years. So he almost made it to that. I think it was a good decision at the end of the day because like they had a great five years probably. Yeah. And also I think that actually sounds really cool. I think it would be even better. You know how a lot of places here have the two homes and mm-hmm. you could buy like a double mm-hmm. unit home here. Like yeah. if you ever gone and looked at- You need at, to have space. Like I actually thought about doing yeah. that with one of my friends and you oh, know, I the back- this. Yeah, the back yeah. house in there. There's, yeah, like 
Well, Instead splitting of costs giant. and rates and things like that is good. I saw there was a group of women who all retired and they bought like a French chateau. So it's this huge castle in France and they're so much cheaper there. And they all just put in together and they're like, great. Now we just crush grapes outside and make wine. And, like makes, we're all friends and we just, and if you're in a castle, you can happy. be all, yeah, you can be in separate wings of the castle. And they're yeah. all just like, yeah, should we go down to the pool? I'll meet you down there. I love my space. I don't like living with anybody. I've never yeah. had an actual roommate. I've only lived with significant others. And I just don't think I could ever hear handle i need to know that nobody's home like yes. i like that but i do think it's kind of smart especially if you're saving money yeah. but like how do you not make that a bachelor pad or is that what kind of what they're going for i don't know about these people the but- ladies that i saw were like older so they were like fuck man we don't ever want to sleep with a man again well, don't they do that here Whoa. oh yeah the right owners of this I- home, don't they all i said a bunch of guys that own one home Oh, I, I don't know exactly oh, okay, what the setup right. is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. um, but I think that it's definitely, you have to know who your friends are so that you can actually live with. And for me, no, I don't want to live with anyone. Even if I got married again, I want to make sure that we have separate bedrooms and separate <laughs> bathrooms. Oh, separate bathrooms, yes. 100%. You know how I am about the bathroom. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> you got to be shaving be... your body. You yeah. don't want to. No, they, they yeah. yeah, you know, I got to get yeah. up and shave every day. Yeah. I need my space. But... Yeah. You know that I shave my forehead. Cause it no, it what? just exfoliates the skin. Oh, it's yeah. so good. I shave my face too. Yeah, people, yeah, yeah. I, I try to tell it's the people best that all the beauty time. secret. I mean, not because yes. I haven't done it, but like I'll shave here, I'll shave under my eye area, and the mm. moment you do that, it starts glowing because there's no dead skin at all. It's like I microblading or whatever. I like, do that. I, I try to that. tell people that all the time, and when I stop doing that, that's when I start getting like yes. acne. And I just was thinking the other day, I need to get a. You should get like an actually good. You can get them from Sephora, like the metal uh, razors, like the really. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good yeah, ones yeah. like the ones that really get that layer oh, of skin yeah. off and you'll see it you know like yeah, that yeah. fluff that comes off but yeah i shave my face yeah well it's actually Secret. the smartest thing ever <laughs> and people should listen to us yeah you know why there's that old wives tell it like you're gonna grow hair anywhere that you no. shave it doesn't change your hair no growth. no that's um, from the root yeah <laughs> that's you fucking know? Rude. <laughs> no i said it's from the root oh. hair grows from the root <laughs> But you're saying the old wives' tale was rude. And that is rude. It's fucking rude. I do not grow hair. Oh, great. Ryan decides to show up, our producer, only three hours late. Hey, poor guy. Anyway. You're uh, not getting any pizza today. Yeah. Uh, fuck you, Ryan. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so Beverly Hills matchmaker claims that looking expensive as a woman hurts your chances. Nellie Saduri is an LA dating coach and matchmaker, mainly working on high value singles. I hate this lady already. <laughs> Saduri's top tip for high value women is not to look high value. This means not showing off expensive clothes, cars, dinners, or sometimes even an education. She's mm. saying if they see someone like you, they might feel like I can't provide anything for her that she doesn't already have. Or I can't impress her the way I can impress a woman. So basically, date That's, beneath yourself. No. I can see how bragging can be a turn off mm. and ruin your chances. Like just over showing off and things like that. That makes sense yes. to me. But not showing your education. Why yeah. would you degrade yourself like that? That's actually could harm your self-worth Any and how you feel. Any guy that's going to be threatened by you then having you a brain is going to be like, get the fuck away from me. Also, you don't want I, like I Cancel didn't even think lady. of what you were saying, which is true. Like there's a fine line between like being braggy or like labels, labels. Like I have all the fancy things and like. And not actually having any yeah. Money saved or not actually being able yeah. to pay your bills. Like I could see how that is a problem. But tell me if someone goes to school ten years to be a doctor and yeah. she's supposed to be like, well, no, I don't. Really- I didn't really go to <laughs> yeah. school for for yeah. this degree, or even if it's a two year degree. Like that shit's hard. Nobody goes to school anymore yeah. now. You know, she's that's, saying if they see angry. someone like you, oh yeah. Uh, so generally, the girl go for a girl who makes them feel a lot more masculine energy. So it's just about them and their complex. Why the hell do you want any of these guys? So she herself is projecting. And that's how she feels Mm. about herself. She's trying to get other women to act like that 100% because it's not your problem if a man doesn't feel masculine because you have a degree or because you have nice things or because you provide for yourself. So basically she's saying dress like shit and be dumb around these guys so you can be their damsel and they can save you. That's Yeah, that works for a certain kind of guy that's probably a nightmare. Yeah, no. And then that's living a fake life too, which you don't want to do. You want to live in reality. Next. I don't like that one. (laughs) 
Fuck you, lady. Yeah. Um, a new study finds vegan men are more likely to give women the ick. I agree. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And can I tell you one more yeah. ick? Yeah. And I know I, a lot of people are going to be, I cannot stand guys that drive Teslas. I don't like I don't it. Like I don't it know either. why. As soon no. as I see them driving a Tesla, uh. it bothers me so much. I don't know if it's the shape of the car. They're just glorified Priuses, That's honestly. They're not saying. even that cute. They're all the same. And like, they're really into them. They're like, Tesla. It, that, like, it's, it's like a attitude. club. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we can see you on Marley. Thank you for driving a Tesla so we know not to. Yeah. Like, it's like. It's the attitude of the people that yeah. drive the Teslas. I can I say a lot of you. Tesla drivers as well? That's the most expensive thing they own. They live in an apartment somewhere and they're like, I got a Stop. Tesla. Stop. Like, no, but then they walk around and they're like, oh, did you see my Tesla? Like I parked it right out of the front. Oh. Yeah, that's an ick for me. Yeah. Okay, Major-ish. so vegan men though, I kind of get it just because like, I mean, I like that people don't want to eat animals and stuff like that. But if a man is, I don't want to know that you're vegan. Yeah, would you date a vegan? Like what if someone was such a vegan that they didn't want, want you to have meat in the home? They didn't want you to eat mm. meat around them. No, like, you do you and I'll do me because I yeah. don't want to tell someone not to slaughter animals because it's better for the animals is anyone vegan here okay perfect yeah um uh, so <laughs> <laughs> i don't i don't if wouldn't anyone's have a problem vegan, get the fuck off yeah. this set. <laughs> i wouldn't have a problem like if i had to cook for a man yeah. that wasn't like and i was making chicken and they didn't want the chicken or whatever yeah. that wouldn't bother me but like i've been around people who are vegan mm. and stuff like that and they'll be like no i can't yeah. have like things and i feel kind of guilty eating around them why are we whispering now oh oh because <laughs> oh yeah they're not here okay <laughs> so i feel kind of guilty when people are looking at i mean yeah when they're watching me it's chew a, on my steak it's not necessarily yeah. an ick for me it's mm. just i've never it's i'm not used to never have i been with a vegan i just don't know how i would I think react it's a certain kind of person because also you can be a vegan and not say you're a vegan although i haven't met one yet because all the yeah. vegans love to tell you they're vegan yes how do you know if someone, like they're like yeah, this on the yeah. okay this has you know <laughs> yeah, exactly. whatever like, like and a, it's not just that they're vegan it's that they're just yeah, everything like yeah. this seasoning is not good oh, enough vegan I don't, leather i can't yeah. wear those shoes Shoes yeah, or that it, fucking yeah. thing, or I don't want to sit in your car because the seats are leather. Yeah. I'm like, oh gosh. Oh my God. I went on a date one time. This was a long time ago. And yeah. I didn't realize that the guy was like, he worked for the zoo with like a rescue thing. And he was telling me how people skin like animals oh, and all this kind of God. stuff and how horrible it made me feel really bad. And I literally on my lap have a mink purse that I had oh. brought. And I was like holding this bag thinking, oh. oh my God, I hope he doesn't think that it is real. But I hope he doesn't oh. like realize that this bag is. It's real fur. I never saw him again. <laughs> so I felt too bad. Honestly. If he was throwing paintballs at you, yeah, yeah like he was, and he was. I really felt. I think bad. if you buy humanely, like even meat that you eat and stuff like that, like I will buy organic meat that it says like raised on a farm I know, with I grass. Try. Like Who you're knows? supposed to do that, and then it's not as bad. Like organic eggs, so they're not stuck in tiny little cages. You can choose wisely like that. Anyway, all right, hotline questions. All right. (laughs) The caller needs to get a perspective on his wife's urge to touch his penis anytime he is naked. Anytime the caller is naked or in underwear, his wife will pounce on him and play with his penis. (laughs) (laughs) She's like a cat. I'm sorry. It's just the way that it's worded. Yanking, not stroking it. He says it's gotten to the point where he's scared to be naked around her and will unconsciously cover himself when she's around. Is it normal? How can he handle the situation? If this sometimes leads to sex, does it make it okay? Um, no. It I'm worried it's going to fall off if she keeps grabbing it like that. Well, first off, yanking and, and touching someone's genitalia in like an aggressive way is not okay. Especially if he doesn't like it. If he's worried she's going to pounce on him, it's making him uncomfortable. Making him go into his shell. You know it kind of makes me sad. It's like women when their nipples aren't hard. I heard this on Nikki Glaze's podcast that like they don't want you to t- see their nipples. What if they, she doesn't want to... S- what are you he talking doesn't about? Want, he doesn't want that? men. <laughs> no, because like they're supposed to be have a chub or be erect. Some guys don't want you seeing or touching their penis when it's not when erect. When it's small. Yes. yes. I, I've had that before where like I always I try to was... look at it when it's soft and small and they <laughs> never let me they You're never like, let, let me. me. Like I'll try to do like this when they're cold in the shower. But I like why do you shrink- want to see it? I like when it shrinks up like that. Why? Yeah, I don't know. I'm oh. straight. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> but that's not nice. I think that she's got to chill. He's got to say, listen, like you're cat. yanking on me yeah. and it's not, it doesn't feel mm. good. If- also, don't make it like a weird game like that. Because like, Sounds then annoying. it might make him feel uncomfortable. Like, are you making fun of my like penis? Keep she- it sexier. Yeah, I- it's, it's probably definitely, it sounds like a turn off. If yeah. someone was constantly yanking on, on me yeah. anywhere and like anytime I got naked yeah. and stuff like that, I'd feel very uncomfortable. It's not. Cute. It it's makes not- you feel self-conscious. It's almost like she has like a nervous behavior yeah. where she's, That's true. You know, that could be it. Then you need to just address that with her and say, listen, this makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it. And I'll it let you know doesn't. when no. I'm ready to show you my penis. Or if I happen to be walking past, keep your mitts to yourself until I tell yeah. you it's okay. Yeah. She doesn't own that penis. He yeah, does. She does. <laughs> yeah, she does. <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. What that pee-pee do? <laughs> what? Remember that? There was an Instagram where he, he, he was like, oh, people always come up to me and they're like, well, hey, man, what that pee-pee do? <laughs> no. And he's like, I don't know, peas. Ew. <laughs> what? So Why does that make me He's just like a out? really n- nerdy guy. It was kind of funny. <laughs> okay. uh, all right. Next question. Caller cried after having sex for the first time after a breakup. Oh, have you done that? Yeah. Yes. Caller has recently broken up with their girlfriend after a few years and finally hooked up with a one night stand. He says the sex was great, but cried after finishing and they felt like they were cheating on their ex and really weirded out their one night stand. The caller is asking why this happened and why he feels such strong loyalty to his ex and how to stop this from happening in the future. I actually Makes have me never sad, had actually. that. I, I've never had that. I just said yes a, a bit. I never have like just started crying, but I definitely have had sex where I'm like, damn, like this, that didn't make me feel good. Uh, that wasn't worth it. Like after I rather, an ex, like, yeah, that you were thinking sure. about, like for that sure. wasn't as good. Yeah, for sure. Because like, you're not ready. You can't just jump straight away sometimes. Or like you think that that's going to be like the band-aid to put over it is I'll fuck someone else. <laughs> Then it's like, wow, that didn't hit the spot I thought it would, like, metaphorically. Yeah, I mean, and also, if you're with someone for years and you've been loyal to them for yeah. years, it takes time to get out of that, like, yes. cycle of being loyal yes. to them. So it probably really does feel like they're cheating in a way, even though they're really not. Yeah. I've only ever felt excited about some new dick because it's not that <laughs> same fucking dick I've been stuck with. <laughs> you're such a liar. No, You'd new dick is sex. the best. Like, that's the only time it's good It's when it's brand new dick. <laughs> I used to think like different that. And now dick. I want the I just want the same one. Same I don't want to have to go yeah. around and find a like, different one. I already one. know it's this it. one. I yeah. know what to do with this one. Yeah. But crying, I think that's normal. I think a lot of people after they hook up with someone, mm. after they have sex or after they mm. break up with their ex, it's really emotional. Mm-hmm. Like it's just gonna take time. I like your point about that. It does feel like cheating a little bit because having your heart broken is such a, a difficult death. It's such Mm. a difficult thing that we all just are like, whatever, just go have sex with Mm. somebody else or whatever. They suck or it's it's really difficult. It doesn't matter what's going on. It's such an emotional thing. It is. Like it's no joke to break someone's heart. Yeah. Well, especially if you're the one that got broken up on too and then you're like trying to. Have you ever been broken up with? Yeah, but we weren't really dating. The people that I've always dated, like properly in relationships with, I've always been the one to break it off. I never have been broken up with. Only that has happened is like it's only been a mutual thing yeah, yeah. but like never in a relationship actual relationship they always have... say that they meant to break up with you two yeah, whatever I'm not yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I actually wanted this to be over also I had someone yeah. say that once they were like you know what this hasn't been good for me either for a while I'm, I'm like, sure you were not the oh yeah well it probably wasn't that great but no I'm saying <laughs> yeah, like that's yeah. what they say like yeah, I'm yeah. sure like uh back in the day because I didn't want to like be openly gay and I had like this one boyfriend and I wouldn't hold his hand on the beach I always feel bad about that later because like why I just made him feel really bad about himself because I was like, don't touch me in public. Like, Yeah, I was but he knows so... that that's how it was yeah. for, for a lot of people who yeah. are coming out. Like, I feel like that's yeah. always the first stage that I always hear True, when someone yeah. talks about coming out. Yeah. It's like, and how long ago was that? A long time ago. And that was yeah. like, remember when mm. like people would be like, those two yeah, guys yeah. are oh, holding I hands. Remember, like, it I was used like, to see people holding hands, two guys, and be like, whoa. Yeah. When I first moved to LA, that was the first time that I really saw people walking down the street, Same. like hand West in Hall, hand. On, yeah. On, I was like, Santa wow, Monica everyone's Boulevard. so yeah. gay here. Yeah. <laughs> That's just something yeah. you had to work through. So don't feel That's bad about true. that. I also found out he was a prostitute. But not for me, but someone had told me, guess what? It was actually kind of hot because the way that I found out, someone told me and was like, that guy's an escort. No, he was so hot. This guy was Lebanese. He was really hot. And he had all this extra money. I was like, oh, okay, whatever. He's just like, but then my friend told me and I said to him, are you an escort? And then he called that guy and 
I know it was bad, but he's like, I'm going to come there and I'm going to fucking stab you. Like this guy's Lebanese, like Middle Eastern guy was so angry. And he's like, I'm going to fucking stab you. And then my friend calls me and goes, you need to put a leash on the guy. He's literally threatening Why to come and stab me. Why do you need to do that? I would not and I was get like, that is so involved. hot that he feels so like he doesn't want like me to think he's like a prostitute. <laughs> I was like, that's so my, cute. Me and my friend, this is so, maybe I shouldn't say this, but <laughs> say like it. me and my friend the other day, I love watching the Netflix people getting kidnapped and like, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I'm always like, like they I'm, live in the no, I'm always watching like stalker yeah. killer. Yeah. Oh, like I, I love that, that one. Yeah. And like, can I tell you a secret, yeah. you know? And I, so, I look sometimes to your Twitter for recommendations. Yes, if you I say always it, Cause love I love the, those true crime things that are like relationship oriented. <laughs> I know. That crazy bitch off the, burnt down the house in her own house. Yeah, I know. Ugh. Oh my God. That was so good. But yeah. anyways, we were talking and, and she was like, I would, fake that I'm in love with the person to like try to get myself out of the situation, you know, or we were, we were just talking yeah. about how we would get ourselves out of the situation. <laughs> and I go, but like, what if the guy's really hot? Like if and he kidnaps you, he's like just fucking sexy. Like I was like, do you run? She was like, no. She's like, I'm going to stay. I, oh, that's true. Like I've really hot. Like he like just opens before. the trunk and he's yeah. just like, yeah. and he's just like, get out. And you're like, do you play yes. along with it then and be like, oh no, <laughs> yeah, don't know. take me. Take me. Yeah. Literally, that's what <laughs> oh, we're saying. Oh, that is so hot. I know. But they are insane. But, like, it, that's kind of adds to it. It could be a great yeah. foreplay <laughs> thing for me. But then it just never ends. You're like, I want to go home yeah. now. I'll use that one for my next foreplay. Yes. Put me in the trunk. And oh, yes. Gonna... Right. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Kola needs help to not feel bonded to their casual friends with benefits. Kola has been friends with benefits with this guy for a few weeks and feels a really strong connection. They both agreed it was just sex and had no plans to date. They recently broke it off, but is really struggling to get over her feelings and bonding to him. What should she do? Mm. It's another messy situation of the friends with benefits. Guys, don't fuck your friends. You it never no. works out good. Fuck it you never, you eat. It, it never works out good. If you good. actually like that friend, you shouldn't because like that relationship's more important it and that is. will last forever. And sex does complicate things. Do you have any friends with benefits that you're friends with, like actually friends with, that I've been able have to maintain a friendship with? But you like every now and then, yes, you're like, oh, and then fuck. my friend fucked him. Oh right. For seven years, I had a that good was one. Like that, like that's really. That's maddening. why it was such a. Yes. I was trying to explain to people like why it was such a heartbreak for mm. me is because that was like yeah. one of my OG friends in yeah. LA, one of my original yeah. friends when I moved here that I met that was cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're cool, whatever. And this you, may <laughs> lady just fucking messed Anyways, it up like that. I did have that. I'll probably never do it again because that, that got me in my mm. feelings yeah. <laughs> like i was like i'm confused about my oh, feelings you lost a good thing so i think uh. that i mean how do you stop your emotion your attachment to someone you're not even dating that's that's even more uh, difficult yeah. to do i would so, check out if you really actually like this person because sometimes you know when you're not feeling yourself or like sometimes you're going through an emotional period and you just think someone could save you, you know? And it's not exactly a person that you really want. Like, it's just you needing to be saved at that time and you'll look at anyone that's yeah. the nearest person to save you. Yeah. She could also just be forward and say, my yeah. feelings have changed. I actually feel like I'm starting to develop mm. feelings for you. Another thing that you can protect mm. yourself from, don't have any conversations with these people. When I had that friends with benefit, it was just like, I would just walk in, have sex, walk out. That's when things were like, okay. And I think like sometimes the conversation is yeah. what makes the emotional. That layers. Yeah, yeah. I say stay away from that if you plan on just <laughs> don't like talk. don't even talk. Oh, God. Don't text. Don't go out to lunch. The ball gag comes in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gee, was that what we were talking about the other day? Yeah. All right. Well, good luck with that, guys. Yeah. This is fun. Thanks. Yay. Yay. <laughs> See you next week, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, what else do they do? What else do you need to tell them? Follow our Instagram, right? Yes. Um, if they like a clip and they're comfortable with it, a lot of people have been reposting it on their stories. And that yes. always helps us. You yeah, know what I Yeah, I mean? love it. So- you I really can love it. Repost and stuff. And we see all the and, comments, so yeah. let us know stuff. And we love you guys. Yep. All right. Bye.